Life is a grand adventure filled with endless possibilities and opportunities. But too often we find ourselves standing in our own way, placing bets against our own success. Imagine for a moment that you are at a racetrack. You've got your favorite horse, the one you believe in with all your heart. But instead of putting your money on that horse, you bet against it. Sounds crazy, right? Yeah, that's exactly what many of us do in our daily lives. We bet against ourselves time and time again. So why do we do this? Why do we become our own worst enemies? The answer lies in our minds and the beliefs we hold about ourselves and the world around us. These beliefs, often formed in childhood or through negative experiences, can become self-fulfilling prophecies if we let them. Just as we've learned these limiting beliefs, we can unlearn them, we can reprogram our minds for success, and that's what we are going to talk about today. First, let's address the elephant in the room. Fear is the number one reason why people bet against themselves. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown. These fears can paralyze us, keeping us stuck in our comfort zones. Fear is often just false evidence appearing real. It's our imagination running wild, conjuring up worst case scenarios that rarely, if ever, come to pass. The antidote to fear is action. When we take action, we prove to ourselves that our fears are unfounded, we build confidence, and with each step forward, we become stronger and more resilient. Let me tell you about John, a software engineer I once coached. John had always dreamed of starting his own tech company, but for years he bet against himself. He told himself he wasn't smart enough, that the market was too competitive, that he did not have the right connections. But these were all just excuses, ways of avoiding the real issue, his fear of failure. One day, John decided to stop betting against himself. He started small, working on his idea in the evenings after his day job. He networked, he learned, he pushed himself out of his comfort zone. And you know what? Within two years, John's company was valued at over $10 million, all because he decided to bet on himself instead of against himself. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Betting on yourself requires courage, persistence, and a willingness to face your fears head on. But the rewards are immeasurable. When you bet on yourself, you open up a world of possibilities. You start to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You become unstoppable. So how do we make this shift? How do we stop betting against ourselves and start betting on our success? It starts with awareness. We need to become aware of the negative self-talk, the limiting beliefs that are holding us back. Once we are aware of them, we can challenge them. The next time you catch yourself thinking, I can't do this, or I'm not good enough, stop and ask yourself, is this really true? Where is the evidence? More often than not, you will find that these thoughts are baseless, nothing more than old programming that no longer serves you. Replace these negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Instead of I can't, say I can and I will. Instead of I'm not good enough, say I'm more than capable. It might feel awkward at first, even a bit silly, but stick with it. Your subconscious mind is listening and over time, these new empowering beliefs will take root. But positive thinking alone is not enough. We need to back it up with action. Set goals for yourself, both short-term and long-term. Write them down, make them specific, and give them deadlines. Then break these goals down into manageable steps. Remember, every great achievement starts with a single step. Many of us bet against ourselves because we are afraid of failing. But failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person you admire has failed, probably more times than you can imagine. The difference is they did not let those failures define them. They learned from them, they grew, and they kept moving forward. Thomas Edison, one of the greatest inventors in history, famously said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. That's the mindset we need to adopt. Every setback is a learning opportunity, a chance to grow and improve. So embrace failure, see it for what it is, Feedback. If something does not work out the way you planned, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I do better next time? This shift in perspective can turn every experience, good or bad, into a stepping stone towards your goals. Success rarely happens overnight. It's the result of consistent effort over time. It's about showing up day after day, even when you don't feel like it, especially when you don't feel like it. 
I once worked with a woman named Sarah who dreamed of becoming a best-selling author. She had a great idea for a novel, but for years she bet against herself. She told herself she wasn't a good enough writer that no one would want to read her book. But one day Sarah decided to stop betting against herself. She committed to writing 500 words every day, no matter what. Some days those 500 words flowed easily. Other days it was a struggle to write even a single sentence. But Sarah persisted. She showed up at her desk every day, whether she felt inspired or not. And you know what? After a year of this consistent effort, Sarah had a completed manuscript. Six months later, she had a publishing deal. Today, her book has sold over a million copies worldwide. That's the power of persistence. That's what happens when you stop betting against yourself and start betting on your dreams. But persistence does not mean blindly pushing forward without direction. It means being adaptable, being willing to learn and grow. The path to success is rarely a straight line. There will be twists and turns, unexpected obstacles and detours. The key is to stay focused on your end goal while remaining flexible in your approach. The importance to another crucial point, and the importance of continuous learning, the world is changing at an unprecedented rate. What worked yesterday might not work tomorrow. To stay ahead, we need to be lifelong learners. Read books, attend seminars, take online courses. Surround yourself with people who inspire you and challenge you to grow. Remember, your income, your success, your fulfillment in life will rarely exceed your personal development. Invest in yourself, in your skills, in your knowledge. It's the best investment you can make. Let's address another reason why people often bet against themselves. Comparison. In today's hyper-connected world, it's all too easy to fall into the comparison trap. We see the highlight reels of other people's lives on social media and think we are falling behind. The only person you should compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. Are you growing? Are you learning? Are you moving closer to your goals? That's what matters. Your journey is unique. Your path is your own. Don't waste your energy comparing yourself to others. Channel that energy into becoming the best version of yourself. Let me share a personal story. Early in my career, I found myself constantly comparing my progress to that of my peers. I'd see someone land a big client or get a promotion and I'd feel like I was falling behind. I was betting against myself, telling myself I wasn't good enough, that I'd never catch up. But then I had a realization all that time and energy I was spending worrying about other people's success was taking away from my own growth. I decided to shift my focus. Instead of worrying about what others were doing, I concentrated on my own development. I set clear goals for myself and worked tirelessly towards them. And you know what? Once I stopped betting against myself, and started focusing on my own journey, my career took off. I landed bigger clients, I got better results, and most importantly, I felt more fulfilled. Not because I was doing better than others, but because I was doing better than my previous self. The power of focus. Where focus goes, energy flows. When you're constantly betting against yourself, you are focusing on what could go wrong, on all the reasons why you might fail. And guess what? Your brain starts looking for evidence to support these beliefs. But when you bet on yourself, when you focus on your strengths, on your potential, on all the reasons why you can succeed, your brain starts uh, looking for opportunities to make that success a reality. It's like tuning a radio. When you tune to the frequency of success, you start picking up more and more success signals. So how do we maintain this positive focus, especially when things get tough? One powerful tool is visualization. Athletes have been using this technique for decades to improve their performance, and it can work just as well in business and in life. Take a, a few minutes each day to visualize yourself achieving your goals. See it in vivid detail. How does it feel? What does it look like? Engage all your senses in this visualization. The more real you can make it in your mind, the more your subconscious will work to make it a reality. But visualization alone is not enough. We need to combine it with affirmations positive statements that reinforce our belief in ourselves. Start your day by looking in the mirror and saying, I believe in myself. I am capable of achieving great things. I am worthy of success. It might feel uncomfortable at first. You might not believe the words you're saying. But remember, your subconscious mind does not know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. The more you repeat these positive affirmations, the more they'll become your reality. Jim Rohn famously said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. 
Take a moment to think about that. Are the people around you lifting you up or pulling you down? Are they betting on you or against you? If you find that your current environment is not supporting your growth, it might be time to make some changes. Seek out people who inspire you, who challenge you to be better. Join mastermind groups, attend networking events, find mentors who have achieved what you want to achieve. Remember, success leaves clues. If you want to stop betting against yourself and start achieving your goals, look at people who have already done what you want to do. Study their habits, their mindset, their strategies, model their success. But be careful not to fall into the trap of thinking you need to do everything alone. Successful people know the power of collaboration. They surround themselves with people who complement their skills, who can help them overcome their weaknesses. So don't be afraid to ask for help. Reach out to mentors, join support groups, hire coaches. Remember, even the most successful people in the world have teams supporting them. Betting on yourself does not mean doing everything by yourself. It means believing in yourself enough to invest in the support you need to succeed. Now, let's address another common reason why people bet against themselves. Past failures. Maybe you have tried and failed before. Maybe you have been hurt or disappointed. It's easy to let these past experiences color your view of the future. Your past does not define your future. Just because something did not work out before does not mean it won't work out now. You're not the same person you were yesterday, let alone last year or five years ago. You have grown, you have learned, you have evolved. Every successful person has a story of past failures. Walt Disney was fired from a newspaper for lacking imagination. Oprah Winfrey was told she was unfit for television. Stephen King's first novel was rejected 30 times. But these people did not let their past failures define them. They used them as fuel, as motivation to prove the doubters wrong, including the doubter within themselves. Uh, so if you have failed before, congratulations. You are in good company. Now, what are you going to do with that experience? Are, are you going to let it hold you back or are you going to use it as a uh, stepping stone to future success? Remember, failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every failure brings with it valuable lessons. The key is to extract those lessons and use them to fuel your future attempts. Our lives are essentially the sum of our habits. The small decisions we make day in and day out shape our lives far more than the big dramatic moments. If you find yourself constantly betting against yourself, it's likely because you have developed habits of self-doubt and negativity. The good news is habits can be changed. It takes time and effort, but with consistency, you can rewire your brain for success. Start by identifying one negative habit you want to change. Maybe it's the habit of hitting the snooze button instead of getting up early to work on your goals. Maybe it's the habit of scrolling through social media instead of reading a book or learning a new skill. Once you've identified the habit, replace it with a positive one. If you are used to hitting snooze, put your alarm clock across the room so you have to get up to turn it off. If you are prone to wasting time on social media, delete the apps from your phone and replace that time with something productive. Remember, it takes about 21 days to form a new habit. Stick with it, even when it's hard. The discomfort you feel is just your brain rewiring itself. Embrace that discomfort. It's the feeling of growth. As you develop these new positive habits, you will find yourself naturally betting on yourself more often. Success will start to feel inevitable rather than impossible. This addresses a crucial point, the importance of self-care. When we are working towards our goals, it's easy to fall into the trap of hustling to 24. We think that if we are not working every waking moment, we are falling behind. Burnout is real. And it's one of the biggest reasons why people end up betting against themselves. When we are exhausted, stressed, and overwhelmed, our natural inclination is to give up, to retreat to our comfort zones. That's why self-care is not selfish. It's essential. Make sure you are getting enough sleep, eating well, and exercising regularly. Take time for activities that recharge you, whether that's reading, meditating, spending time in nature, or enjoying hobbies. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. By taking care of yourself, you are ensuring that you have the energy and resilience to keep betting on yourself, even when times get tough. When we are constantly betting against ourselves, it's easy to fall into a negative mindset. 
We focus on what's going wrong, on what we lack, on all the reasons why we can't succeed. But gratitude has the power to shift this perspective. When we focus on what we are grateful for, we start to see the abundance in our lives rather than the scarcity. We recognize the resources we have at our disposal, the support systems around us, the progress we've already made. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be uh, as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a comfortable bed, or a kind word from a friend. This simple practice can dramatically shift your mindset, making it easier to bet on yourself and your potential. The importance of taking action, all the positive thinking, visualization, and self-belief in the world won't make a difference if you don't take action. Success is not about what you know or even who you know. It's about what you do with what you know. It's about the actions you take day in and day out to move closer to your goals. Starting today, take one action every day that moves you closer to your goals. It does not have to be a big action. Small steps taken consistently lead to big results over time. Maybe it's making that phone call you have been putting off. Maybe it's writing the first paragraph of that book you have been dreaming about. Maybe it's having that difficult conversation you have been avoiding. Whatever it is, do it. Take action. Remember, the world does not reward perfection. It rewards action. The person who takes imperfect action will always outperform the person who has perfect plans but never acts on them. You have greatness within you. You have talents and abilities that the world needs. Don't rob the world of your gifts by betting against yourself. Believe in yourself. Invest in yourself. Take action. The biggest bet you can ever make is on yourself. And when you do, when you fully commit to your own success, there is no limit to what you can achieve. So I ask you, are you ready to stop betting against yourself? Are you ready to unleash your full potential? Are you ready to create the life you have always dreamed of? The time is now. The opportunity is here. The choice is yours. Will you continue to play small, to doubt yourself, to let fear hold you back? Or will you step up, embrace your potential, and bet on yourself with everything you have got? Your future self is watching, waiting to see what you will do in this moment. Will you disappoint them, or will you make them proud? Every great achievement in history started with a single decision, the decision to believe, to persist, to overcome, you have that same power within you right now, the power to reshape your destiny, to rewrite your story, to create a life beyond your wildest dreams, but it all starts with you. Take that step today. Your future self will thank you for it. Imagine waking up a year from now, looking back on this moment and realizing it was the turning point in your life, the moment you decide to stop doubting yourself and start believing in your own potential. That decision, that single choice to bet on yourself can set in motion a chain of events that will transform your life in ways you can't even imagine right now. Every great success story starts with that decision. Every person who has ever achieved greatness had to first overcome their own self-doubt, their own fears, their own limiting beliefs. They had to make the conscious choice to bet on themselves, to believe in their own potential, even when no one else did. And you have that same power within you right now. You have the power to make that choice to take that first step towards the life you have always dreamed of. But here's the thing, that choice is not a one-time decision. It's a commitment you have to make every single day. It's choosing to get up early to work on your goals, even when you're tired. It's choosing to keep going, even when you face setbacks and disappointments. And it's choosing to learn and grow, even when it's uncomfortable. Every day, you will be faced with choices. Will you take the easy path, the comfortable path, the path of least resistance? Or will you choose the path of growth, the path of challenge, the path that leads to your dreams? The choice is yours, and it's a choice you will have to make over and over again. Each time you choose to bet on yourself, it gets a little bit easier. Each time you push through your fears and doubts, you grow a little bit stronger. Each time you take action towards your goals, you build a little more momentum. It's like working out a muscle. The more you do it, the stronger you become. And before you know it, betting on yourself becomes second nature. You will start to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You will start to view challenges as chances to grow rather than reasons to give up. You will start to believe in yourself so deeply that nothing can shake your confidence. But it all starts with that first step. That first decision to bet on yourself, 
And that decision has to come from within. No one else can make it for you. No one else can believe in you enough to overcome your own self-doubt. That has to come from you. So ask yourself, what's holding you back? What fears, what doubts, what limiting beliefs are keeping you from betting on yourself? Are you afraid of failure? Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person has failed probably more times than you can imagine. The difference is they did not let those failures define them. They learned from them, they grew from them, and they kept moving forward. Are you afraid of what others might think? The opinions of others don't define you. The only opinion that truly matters is your own. And when you start betting on yourself, when you start pursuing your dreams with everything you have got, you will be amazed at how many people will be inspired by your courage and determination. Are you afraid that you are not good enough, not smart enough, not talented enough? Success is not about being the best. It's, it's about being better than you were yesterday. It's about continuous growth and improvement. And the only way to improve is to start where you are with what you have. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. So whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever reason you've been using to bet against yourself, it's time to let it go. It's time to realize that you are capable of so much more than you have allowed yourself to believe. It's time to step into your power and embrace your potential. The world needs what you have to offer. Your unique talents, your unique perspective, your unique voice, the world needs it. And by betting against yourself, by playing small, by letting fear hold you back, you are not just doing a disservice to yourself. You are doing a disservice to the world. You are depriving the world of your gifts, of your contribution, of the positive impact you could make. So I challenge you, starting today, make a commitment to yourself. A commitment to bet on yourself every single day. A commitment to take action towards your goals, no matter how small that action might be. A commitment to believe in yourself even when it feels impossible. Because here's the thing, when you start betting on yourself, when you start truly believing in your own potential, the universe has a way of conspiring to help you. Opportunities start to appear. The right people come into your life at the right time. Things that once seemed impossible start to become reality. But it all starts with you. It all starts with that decision to bet on yourself. So are you ready? Are you ready to stop playing small and start stepping into your greatness? Are you ready to stop betting against yourself and start betting on your own incredible potential? The time is now. The opportunity is here. The choice is yours. Your future self is waiting, watching to see what you will do in this moment. Will you disappoint them or will you make them proud? Remember, every great achievement in history started with a single decision, the decision to believe, to persist, to overcome. You have that same power within you right now, the power to reshape your destiny, to rewrite your story, to create a life beyond your wildest dreams. But it all starts with you. It starts with the choice to stop betting against yourself and start betting on your own incredible potential. So take that step today. Your future self will thank you. And not just your future self, but all the lives you will touch, all the people you will inspire, all the positive change you will create in the world. Because when you bet on yourself, when you unleash your full potential, you become a beacon of hope and inspiration for others. You show them what's possible. You give them permission to dream bigger, to reach higher, to believe in themselves, and that ripple effect can change the world. So don't wait for the perfect moment. Don't wait until you feel ready. Don't wait for someone else to believe in you. The perfect moment is now. You are as ready as you will ever be. And the only person who needs to believe in you is you. Take that step today. Bet on yourself. And watch as your life transforms in ways you never thought possible. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today. Your future self and the world will thank you for it.